Greetings, my fuzzy little gents and gentlets. Let's take a break from Disney for just a moment, shall we? And let's talk about the movie that you asked for. That's right, today we're talking about the happiest community that loved to dance and sing and hug and dance and sing. Hug and sing and dance and sing and hug and dance and hug and dance and sing and hug and dance and hug and dance and sing and hug and dance. You get the picture. That's right, today you and I are going to taste test the movie Trolls. Keep an eye out for these five hidden Easter eggs for your chance to win a free Share a Smile shirt. Include hashtag trolls in your comment for your chance to win. Yummy yummy, the future king gets to eat the sweetest troll of all. The happiest, most positive, sweetest troll of all. Princess Poppy. Well, if they didn't escape, then he could have. It's fake. But if you notice, it's a wooden troll. The movie Trolls was actually based on the real life troll dolls. And the very first troll doll was carved out of wood by the original creator, a wood carver, by the name of Thomas Dom. Spelled D-A-M, but it's pronounced D-A-H-M, not the other word. So it makes perfect sense that the very first troll we see in this movie is a wooden troll. Remember that opening scene for the troll movie that was full of singing and dancing and hugging? That entire scene wasn't actually animated. That's right, it was made with stop motion. In fact, almost all scenes that you see with scrapbooking are handmade. Not including the ones where glitter comes spinning out. Apparently though, it looks like Pixar isn't the only one that likes referencing to the movie The Shining. Looky here. King Poppy is a little superhero saving all the little trolls. No troll left behind. You know who else is also a hero though? Amazing Captain Underpants! Ra -la -la. Clearly this is an easter egg to the new movie Captain Underpants. When I say no troll left behind, I mean no troll left behind! Left behind? Behind? Yeah, 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 we get it. It's a butt joke. Originally, none of the trolls were going to have clothes, and they almost made the entire movie with none of them clothed. Then they changed their mind and decided to clothe them all. Well, most of them all. Some of them. Yes, he's farting glitter. That's it! For some reason, kids' movies are always littered with butt jokes. Isn't it a little odd that the hired clown ended up marrying the birthday girl? I mean, what's the age difference there? And I gotta ask this. Does a dead troll still taste as good as a living troll? Oh no. I do taste delicious. If you look closely in this hug time, you will see Fartface is actually hugging himself in the group hug. I know, I know, this isn't Disney. You can call me crazy, but I think that looks like Sully's fur from Monsters, Inc. Branch has an awesome doomsday bunker, but it looks like they forgot to put the little lever in there for the elevator. Now it's there. Now it's not. Then it's there. How convenient. And why the heck does he have a cannon for his bunker? Maybe he plays Boom Beach. Attack that boom cannon! You said you have enough provisions to last 10 years, right? Yes, to last me 10 years. Me! It'll last them two weeks. Assuming all the trolls eat about the same amount of food and little Timmy over there doesn't accidentally mess up playing on the traps, that means there's approximately 260 trolls. And why does the king look for every opportunity to be in his underwear? Or was this another mistake? He is completely clothed and then BAM in his underwear. Can somebody say quick change of the year? Or... Does he always take his clothes off for hug time? Hug time! That's creepy. While we're in one of these sing-alongs and Princess Poppy is getting eaten by literally everything, we see uh, this critter right here look closely at his belly and you will see he's actually smiling. He's happy before he ate her. Or was he eating her making him happy? I don't know. But um bum bum survey time! I'm Poppy. They already know my name. <clears throat> Fine, I'm Crazy Nate. And today's topic is... Early bird or night owl? I want a third option bird. Meanwhile, back to the Easter eggs. Yeah, spit it out. And where else did we see a little girl eat a blueberry and then blow up? That's right, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. 
Remember that gum chewing girl? It also kind of looks like the scare games in Monsters University when you get stung by the little stinging glow urchins and then you go. But since this isn't Disney, it's more likely for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and not Monsters University. After all, Tim Burton made Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and obviously this scene right here is clearly made by someone who's a huge fan of Tim Burton's style. Huh. Hold the phone, wait a second, a frying pan? Come on, they are copying Tangled. A frying pan is a common use of defense. Besides, what else are you supposed to throw at them? A fidget spinner? No, you shoot them. But it does look a lot like Disney. It's not like they copied the entire story plot. Yeah, that's a good point, I guess. All right, anywho, moving on. Oh, mama, I have got to get me one of these. May I? If you were thinking that the cloud got his socks from King Poppy, that's what I thought too. But on closer looking, you will see they are not the same color. Of course, as often as he likes to take his clothes off, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow these were his pair of socks too. Speaking of socks, King Poppy's not even wearing socks. That's right, he's got a cape, a shirt, shorts, thankfully underwear, but no socks. He's running barefoot. So then where did he even get the socks? Okay, wait a second, did he just break Olaf's arm? Um, maybe, but there are a lot of branches in the world. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> branch broke a branch? Okay, not funny. Okay, wait a second, Pixar uses the pink flamingo lawn ornaments all the time as Easter eggs in other films. DreamWorks, this question's straight for you. Was that a hidden subtle stab at Pixar, or was that just a random lawn ornament? No, no, no. Not everything is a conspiracy theory. Pink flamingos are the most common lawn ornament in the world, and there are over 350,000 of them purchased every single year. Okay, wait a second. I feel like you just made that up. You're not as dumb as I thought you were. Hey now, so oh. you take those dishes downstairs and you start scrubbing. Yes, yeah, Chef. Thank you, Chef. That's clearly a reference to the great Chef Ramsay. Chef, Chef, Chef! Come on! Okay, trolls, I'm not trying to troll you here with all the mistakes. Troll! Troll! But come on, the chef here just took the knife out of his waistband, even though up until now, we never see the set of knives anywhere on his belt. You're a dude! But seconds later, she puts the knife in a holster in her leg. That means she had an empty holster sitting around on her leg at all times, and now she has a holster on her waist that's empty with no knife in it. I am that he. So does she just have a bunch of random holsters all over the place for any random knives? She could put a knife in her shoe, put a knife in her hat, and now what about all the other knives that were on her belt? They just magically disappeared. That's convenient. I never got to eat a troll. If Junior here never ate a troll before, then why is there a painting of him at a giant troll feast? <laughs> the king's crown looks a lot like King K. Roll's crown from the old school Donkey Kong. Come to think of it, that alligator kind of looks a little bit like him. And if you remember Dixie Kong, mm -hmm, how did she get around? That's right, with her super fancy hair, just like the trolls. Troll! Okay, seriously, this sad little girl's entire story plot is screaming Cinderella. Everyone is invited to a special event, except for her. The king is inviting everyone, except you. She gets a makeover from a bunch of little helpers. What if we made you a new outfit? She even leaves one of her shoes on the step at the ball. Lady Glitter Sparkles! And she turns normal again at midnight. My belly empty and my heart full. Tell me that is not Cinderella. <laughs> Classic. 
Here we go again. That's not mine. This picture right here is not on the wall five seconds ago. Watch. Don't, nope, not there. Closes the curtains, reopens them. Ta da! <laughs> That's convenient. They do have a few cool moments in the movie, but it seems they didn't pay very close attention to the details. Finally, there we go. A subtle painting showing the love for Shrek. Donkey. Clearly, this baby Bergen is a reference to the new Boss Baby. I have one final why question here. Why do they carry torches around if they can just make their hair glow like fire? There will be no more scrapbooking. Don't forget to try to find all five of the hidden Easter eggs and leave a comment where they are for your chance to win a Share a Smile shirt and tell me what your favorite movie is. It doesn't have to be Disney or Pixar, I won't be mad. Hi, I'm Wee Bros and you're watching Crazy Nick. Be sure to share a smile, they are contagious. Hey, share a smile, they're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? Whew, that would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.